Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'm going to talk about sleep issues and how to handle them naturally. There are a multitude of causes for insomnia. Some of them are overeating, eating late at night, worry, fear in all of its forms, cold feet, poor circulation, nervousness, and poor ventilation in your bedroom. I'm going to go over several healing modalities for treating sleep issues. First, we start with some simple sleep aids. Then we will move into herbal remedies, then aromatherapy, and finally energy healing. To begin, it's helpful to understand the mental constructs that prevent sleep. Insomnia is caused by a general fear and not trusting in the process of life. Guilt issues are also concerned with insomnia. A good affirmation to help you move through this is, I lovingly release the day and slip into peaceful sleep, knowing that tomorrow will take care of itself. Now we will start with some practical methods of moving your body to a state of comfort. We begin with the taking of a full warm bath or a hot foot bath while drinking a cup of hot herbal sleep tea. Another wonderful way to make the body comfortable is to fill two liter plastic soda bottles with hot tap water and place them in the foot area of the bed and the back area and the stomach area or anywhere else your body needs extra warmth and comfort. This is very soothing and in an excellent way to recycle. Remember that dehydration will cause insomnia. Make sure you're getting at least 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. If you have been dehydrated, you might be amazed at how this simple step of drinking more water can help you to sleep well at night. Many people have been put to sleep with gentle soothing massage in a warm darkened room or to have their feet rubbed gently after a hot foot soak in a warm and comfortable dimly lit room. Some people have been lulled to sleep by gently brushing of the hair in a warm, comfortable room. Anything that you find to be gentle and soothing will aid sleep. Sometimes it's beneficial to play soothing meditation music in your bedroom through the night. There are a number of excellent three to nine hour videos of meditation music on YouTube. Putting this material on at night oftentimes helps to quiet an overactive mind. It allows you to concentrate on something other than the mental jumble in your mind. Do not use TV to put yourself to sleep. This is a dangerous practice because when you are falling asleep, you're in your most receptive state and all of the negativity and programming that is the reality of TV then goes unfiltered directly into your subconscious and the end result is you being brainwashed and programmed which is not something that is good for anyone. So do not watch TV to put yourself to sleep. If you've been doing this then switch it out with the meditation music. It will take a bit of experimentation to find the best meditation music for you but it's worth the effort. This works well and is very positive for your entire system. I highly recommend this if your sleep issues revolve around your mind not wanting to shut down. If the above methods have not worked for you, then we move on to stage two of handling sleep issues and that is through the use of herbs used in various ways. To start with, we will talk about teas, then bath solutions and then sleep pillows. Teas. Sipping a hot cup of herbal sleep tea while you're soaking in, soaking in a hot tub or soaking your feet in hot water is an excellent sleep aid. If you don't have any herbs, hot sour lemonade and grapefruit juice work well and of course the old standby hot milk. Here are some herbal sleep tea recipes. Sleep tea recipe number one. Use a teaspoonful of the following herbs, or collect as many of them as you can. Lady slipper, valerian root, catnip, skullcap, and especially hops. 
Steep them in a cup of boiling water for 20 minutes and drink hot. They act as a tonic for the entire system to produce gentle, natural sleep. Sleep tea, too. Put one tablespoon each of red clover and dandelion leaves in one cup of boiling water and steep for five minutes. Strain and drink every night for gentle sleep assistance. Sleep tea number three. Put one teaspoon each of tarragon and anise in one cup of boiling water and steep for five minutes. Strain and drink to promote gentle, natural sleep. Now here's a recipe for a stronger sleeping potion. Boil four to eight seeds each of coriander and crushed clove with a one inch piece of cinnamon stick in one cup of boiling water. Mix that with one shot of rum, one teaspoon of sugar, two beaten egg yolks, and the juice of one lemon. Shake it up and strain it before drinking hot right before bed. If the plain hot water bath was not as effective for you, then try a hot herbal bath. And how you do this is you take a half a cup of herbs and simmer them in one quart of water in a covered non-metal pot for 10 to 20 minutes. Some good herb choices are anise seed, bergamot, chamomile, dandelion, hops, lobelia, rosemary, valerian, lemon balm, sweet birch, and catnip. Use as many of them as you have. While this is simmering, you take a shower to remove surface dirt and then you fill the tub with warm or hot water. Now strain the decoction that you've just made and pour the herb liquid into the tub. Then wrap the solid herb residue into a washcloth and tie it up with a rubber band. Step into the tub and soak for at least 20 minutes and then rub your body vigorously with the washcloth filled with herbs and then soak for a little while longer. When you soak in a bathtub, if you don't have a bathtub that's deep enough to totally cover your body, you're going to have to roll over so that the front part of your body gets immersed in the, in the uh, herbal mixture as well. Okay, now we move on to sleep pillows. Sleeping on a herb pillow is a wonderful sleeping aid. What you do is take the herbal mixture of your choice and fill a flat cloth bag with the herbs, which are then inserted in the pillowcase of your pillow along with your pillow. The herbs are placed next to your head in the pillowcase. Some great herbal mixtures for sleep pillows are rose leaf, rosebuds, geranium leaf, hops, three cotton balls with drops of oil of neroli, bergamot, and ger ger geranium rose. Now another great sleep pillow combination is two ounces of rosebud, one ounce of rose leaf, one ounce of geranium leaf, one ounce of mint, half an ounce of rosemary, one quarter ounce of crushed cloves, three balls of cotton dotted with one to two drops of oil of bergamot, neroli, and rose geranium. Next up is the use of aromatic essential oils. The use of aromatic essential oils is another method for inducing calm sleep. You can use aromatic essential oils in a near diffuser or you can apply oils topically. It works well to dilute the essential oils with a nice vegetable oil like sweet almond oil or olive oil. Rub some of the diluted essential oil on the back of your neck and the bottoms of your feet before going to bed. There are many different essential oils that can be used for sleeplessness. The trick is finding exactly which essential oil your body likes best. Every person is different, so an oil that might work well for me or another person might not work for you. You just need to experiment to find the right combination that works best for you. Start by using just one of the following oils each night until you find the right combination for you. 
Now the best essential oils to work with for sleep are number one, lavender. This is this probably comes as no surprise to a lot of you. Many studies have been done with lavender essential oil that have very promising results. Two, vetiver. This has a strong earthy smell that you might enjoy mixing with a lighter oil such as lavender or chamomile. Three, Roman chamomile. It has a light floral scent that is great for creating a peaceful atmosphere. Four, Yang Ylang. This is a very floral smelling oil that is great for improving sleep. Bergamot. This is a bright yet calming oil that helps to balance the emotions. Be careful with bergamot oil though. It can make your skin very sensitive to the sun, so don't apply it before going out into the sun, like during the daytime, if you happen to really fall in love with it. 6. Sandalwood. I love sandalwood with its rich woodsy scent, but it is a bit pricey. It's a good thing that you don't need much of it. 7. Marjoram. I know this one may sound strange, but it's an excellent for creating peaceful sleep. 8. Cedarwood. This is great for calming the brain down after a busy day. Finally, a good, long, full-body energy healing session is one of the most relaxing things that can happen to a person. I can't count the number of people that have fallen sound asleep and have begun snoring while I did a full body energy healing on them. The bottom line is that it is all about comfort and relaxation of the mind, body and spirit. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care and stay naturally healthy.